Hey everybody, it's Crystal. It's May 13th and we're currently driving to our fertility yeah, clinic. We just got some breakfast at McDonald's and uh, we're headed in for our embryo transfer. See you later. Bye. Hey everybody, it's Crystal again and we are officially in the room and waiting for our transfer to happen. They just came in and checked my bladder and it's full. So now I'm just chilling out. And my husband is chilling out over there in the man area. So we're ready. Oh, and we also have nine embryos that are gonna be frozen and we have two perfect embryos that they're gonna put back today. So we are super excited about that. Um, after the appointment, I'll make a little bit more of a video to let you know more of the grading system on our eggs. Um, so that's it, bye. Hey everybody, it's done. <laughs> our embryos have been implanted. So we will wait nine days. I'm scheduled for a beta test on May the 22nd. So we will know nine days from now whether or not it all worked. And that's it. I'm really excited. Babe, are you excited? <laughs> He's excited. He was very sweet to me and held my hand and everything. And I'm not going to lie, the transfer extremely extremely uncomfortable very uncomfortable when you have a full bladder and everything is still swollen it sucks but it's all for a good cause and I'm happy it's over um, I was gonna show you let's see if you can see you might not be able to see it very well but we transfer yeah maybe that'll work this, yeah I'll have to video that part whenever I get home but we did transfer two really awesome looking eggs they were grade four they a. were a 4 AA so that's really really good she said that they were beautiful and perfect so I'm, I'm really excited about that and we have nine embryos that we are going to freeze as of today um, they will call us tomorrow and let us there's two more that they say might um, continue to grow throughout the day so if those do make it then they will add that to our collection and we will have not uh, 11 frozen embryos so and all of them are most of them are fairly decent quality so um, that's it I'll see you all guys later thanks bye hey everybody we are home and um, I just I am so so happy <sighs> I'm so glad it's all over it's over I am now Technically pregnant until proven otherwise. Um, it was such an amazing experience. A very un uncomfortable experience, but in the long run, the uncomfortableness that I had to feel today will hopefully be outbalanced by something so joyous and wonderful in our lives that I just am so hopeful and I feel so good about this. I really do. Our, um, our embryos look beautiful. Um, what I'm going to do on this video is I'm going to insert a couple pictures of the embryos from day three and then the embryos from this morning. So I'm just so happy that I'm just so happy that everything turned out well and I am going to take it easy today and tomorrow and I'll go back to work and you know take it easy at work. I'm not going to do I'm not going to push myself anything crazy like that. I mean, I do have to work. I do have to be a normal person and do that kind of thing, but um, I just feel so amazing about this. I am, I'm just, I feel like I'm, I'm floating on cloud nine today. Um, Josh was super supportive of me and there every step of the way. He held my hand whenever we did the transfer because it was really, uh, I mean, I don't want to scare anybody, but it's uncomfortable. And obviously it only lasts like five to 10 minutes. You know, they were kind of in there a little bit longer than normal because my uterus is so tilted back that even with my bladder as huge and full as it was, it was, you know, it took a little bit to get it done. But my doctor is amazing. She is truly fantastic. And I, I'm just so grateful to have her as my doctor. I think she's wonderful. She's humorous. She's funny. She is great with both my husband and I. Um, she's not cold or shut off personality wise. She's just freaking awesome. And if there's anybody in Texas that lives in the DFW area that would like to see a really awesome RE, then I would be glad and more than happy to send you information on who she is because I just, I feel that she is really wonderful and she's been honest and truthful with me through every single step of the way. and. 
I just couldn't have asked for a better a better RE. <laughs> I feel so tearful now today. <laughs> um, sorry about all the noise. I am outside. My dogs need to go to the bathroom and my husband just went um, up to Kroger so he can get some rice and some chicken and he's going to make and we're going to make our style of Chipotle at home and I'm just going to take it easy for the rest of the day. So again, I'm going to insert some pictures in here of the embryos and um, and like I said, the embryos that we did transfer were both they were 10 cell compacting, but they were graded at a 4 AA, which is really good. The, I guess the only highest thing would be a 5 AA, um, I think. But I'll try to figure out if I can do a little video on and explain to you how the grading system goes. But um, that's it. I am just so freaking excited. I'm so happy. I feel so extremely positive about this whole freaking experience and um, yeah that's it and if anybody has any questions let me know um, I will say we we did schedule our um, beta test for May the 22nd which is actually two days before our anniversary or 10 year anniversary so we're not gonna find out on that day which is totally fine but um, hopefully we will find out and hopefully we will find out that it's you know, a positive and it would just be the most amazing anniversary gift that we could ever have imagined. So, um, but yeah, we're, we're going to do the, um, what did I say? We're going to do the beta on the 22nd. I probably am going to do a live pregnancy, pregnancy test on the 21st or the 20th. I know by that time we will be able to tell via pregnancy test if it's if it's working. And I usually am not the kind of person that likes to wait for beta results. I do like to take a test either that morning or the day before and find out kind of what um, to, what's to be expected. So I will probably video that. Um, I will also do a video probably here in a couple days just to let you know all let you all know how I'm feeling. Um, I will say this. Um, you know, I know the last video I made was about, uh, I, I think it was like day three, I did my fertilization report and actually, yeah, it was probably on day four that I made that video, but I, I was saying how I was feeling so, I was feeling bad and I was getting a little nervous about having the ovarian hyperstimulation and, um, you know, they looked at me today, everything was okay nothing out of the ordinary my ovaries are still really big and swollen and it looks like I still have follicles on my eggs on my ovaries but I don't that's just the little sacs that the um, follicles came from so that's where a lot of my swelling came from um, I will be honest the first three days after transfer or retrieval I was in some I was very uncomfortable I was like I said I started to get a little nervous about getting that stimulation hyper stimulation thing um, but I, but so far I'm so so far I'm good. I've been weighing myself every day, and I've kind of been fluctuating between, you know, between one and three pounds difference. So I don't feel extremely concerned about that. They did tell me to continue to just drink water and lots of Gatorade, um, and take it really easy, because um, like I said, the OHSS, which is the hyper ovarian stimulation syndrome, I think is how it is. That can happen all the way up to 10 weeks. So, like, and some women can can be fine, and then when they get pregnant, like, it comes on. So, they just want you to be really careful and very um, aware of your body and what's going on. So, um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'm continuing to take the estradiol, which is a pill. I take that every day. And then I'm also doing two vaginal... Um, treatments of progesterone daily so and I know the grass isn't always greener on the other side so for those of you who are taking progesterone shots and it's painful I'm so sorry but just be glad that your your lady parts are not <laughs> looking so disgusting and gross from the progesterone it is not fun not pretty although it's not I mean it's not a competition or anything like that I'm just saying if you if you're sad about having to take the shots taking the vaginal progesterone is not really the best either obviously it's not painful but it is more disgusting and gross and you have to you know like wear panty liners and things like that and so it's just kind of like ugh, I don't know it kind of grosses me out but so I'm doing that and that's it I'm just hanging out 
I'm just hanging out <laughs> letting my oven bake my little embryos um, so yeah that's it I will go ahead and get off here and if anybody has any questions let me know and then I just want to give a huge shout out to um, P Thomas wife I think that's what it is and T Mingle I know that both of them are like I think one of them is doing their retrieval or their transfer today and one is doing a transfer on Wednesday so I, I I'll see if I can post their links on the bottom but those ladies have been going through IVF right along with me and I'm so so excited for them so if you will you know maybe jump over and say hello to them and um, wish them luck wish us all luck we'll have a BFP boom if this works for all of us I'm so excited um, and then also I wanted to give a shout out to, um, a huge shout out to Lisa Marie TTC. She's been doing Lupron and I think she starts her injections today for her Gonal F and her Menipure. So I just want to wish you the very best of luck and I know that you're going to do fabulous. Um, and then I know that Rich Marie, I think it's Richie Marie, Rich Marie, I know she just posted a video the other day, um, and had gotten her medication. So... Uh, I haven't had a ton of time to watch all of your videos, but I'm going to catch up with them on my bed rest day today. Um, but I'm just wishing you all luck. And anybody out there who isn't doing um, specifically IVF, you know, whether or not you're just trying on your own or you're doing a clomid cycle or an injectable cycle or anything like that, I wish you all the best of luck. And so have a fabulous day. Bye.